Hi, my name is Dr. Mike Kane. I'm a lecturer in sports technology at Loughborough University. I'm here to try and raise £100,000 to commercialise a garment technology that we call RespiVest. RespiVest is a garment that, when worn, loads your breathing muscles. In other words, it helps you train your breathing muscles. Essentially, what you're looking to do is provide a resistance to the breathing muscles. So when your rib cage opens, as you breathe in, as we all do all the time, there is an added resistance. You'll appreciate we've made a small number of these to test the concept of providing an elastic load around your thorax. Uh, having pitched the concept under confidentiality to brands such as Nike, their initial enthusiasm and interest for the garment has shaped the development programme that I'm proposing. Thank you for listening. Dr Mike Kane is willing to give away 20% of his recipe vest concept. He already has contacts with major brands and a team with a proven track record. Theo Pafitas is impressed. Can I ask you a couple of questions, Mike? Of course. Um, if you've already spoken to Nike, yeah. who are impressed, and we know that they've got huge pockets, massive pockets, much bigger than poor, li poor little immigrant boy like me, yeah. or my colleagues here, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, why don't they just say, here, Mike, I chuck you 100 grand to keep you going, but we've got the rights on it? Of course they could have stumped 100K. What I would say is, that was a little while ago. I didn't have this. I, I talked to Nike. They invited me to their US headquarters to meet their head of development. They were clearly interested in the concept. I said, I haven't got a prototype to show you, and I don't have any efficacy data. But do you like the principle? Yes, we like the principle. We do want to see a working prototype, and we do want to see efficacy data. Bring that back to us, and then we can talk more seriously. Um, that's you know, how it was. Do you have efficacy data now? We have some efficacy data. Yeah? We have efficacy data based upon the small number of proof of principle concepts that we've produced. My business as an academic is about being rigorous in that area. But I know that the theory is sound. With a major brand interested in the concept once proven, the business looks promising. Mike is confident this can be achieved using the £100,000 investment to complete his prototype. Peter Jones wants to start talking figures. Hi, I'm Peter. Where I want to know, being a potential investor in this yeah. recipe vest, is actually what is the potential return? Give me a figure. Give me, I'm going to sell 3,000 of these to Nike under licence at £25 each. We make £20 and my profit in the first year is going to be X. Sure. Just try and focus on the money because that's all that. I'm interested in. I'll answer that exactly. We believe we can sell half a million units with the right brand. Okay, half a million units that would be equivalent to around $2.50 per unit. The company is going to receive $1.25 million on 500,000 units yeah, on I'm the basis of license. It's basically uh, 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 royalty I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Okay. I'm focusing on the money because we're now in a seven figure sum. It's now getting quite interesting. Okay. With a potential licensing agreement with a major brand in the offing, Mike's recipe vest could make millions for an investor. But Duncan Bannatyne is unimpressed by fitness gadgets. So I employ about 300 personal trainers. Mm -hmm. And they would say, you're wrong. Can you expand on that? They would say you don't have to overload the muscle to build it up. They would say, you shouldn't use things like that for your muscles. You should use the muscles yourself. You should tense muscles yourself. You should pull muscles yourself in. You should use your muscles. Well, look, Respi Vest is a very clear, focused product. It allows people who wish to train a difficult to train muscle, breathing muscle, to do so in a comfortable, effective manner. Do you know? There is a market for people who believe that this will work because it will work. Do you know the breathing muscle? can be trained during Pilates classes? Sure. It, you can, you can, you can no stay... No material? Look, 
What you're basically saying, you're undermining the basic premise of why people buy ab machines. Are you telling me that people don't buy ab machines? Because they do. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. So people buy an abdominal cradle or something they sit on to do crunches. Why? Because it trains their abdominal muscles. Or they believe that it does. Some are effective, some are not effective. I'm telling you that this is an effective way of training a muscle that people know they want to train. We're all aware of our breathing. We suffer breathlessness when we run, when we swim, when we walk. If you're an older individual, particularly, we know that your breathing muscles degenerate. Okay? You might not be talking about someone who could benefit from a personal trainer. That's not accessible to every 60-year-old emphysema sufferer. This is a product they can buy which will substitute, let's say, the, the per some of the benefits from personal training. So your market is a 60-year-old 60, 60 emphysema sufferer. That's your market. No. The people who can't what afford personal is, training. What I've said is, this is a platform technology. You can embody this principle into a garment technology that can be used for elite sports people. You know, I've worked with the England rugby squad, training their in spiritual muscle. Mike, Mike, Right stop. through to... Uh, stop, stop, yeah, stop. Yeah, Mike. Yeah. Can I just push uh, before you do? No, because I think no, that no, where no, you're going no, is no. so misguided that it's right. absolutely worthless right. to go down this thing. Right. I'm very just familiar... One last no. thing, Mike. Fine. Mike, Mike, Continue. Before, before, before Doug comes science. in and gives you the money, I just want to say, I, I just think what you're talking about is a lot of rubbish. I think you're full of hot air, and for that reason, I'm not going to invest, and I'm out. Just to respond briefly, because that's quite a criticism. I'm an academic at the UK's leading sports university, Loughborough University. I have a worldwide reputation for publishing good research in inspiratory muscle training. With all respect, you, you've made an informed decision, but it's not an expert decision. I have a team of people who've published PhDs on this kind of work, and it will work, because we know it will work. I'd say well done, firstly. I think you've put Duncan firmly in his place, and I'm very personally pleased that you've done that. Um, I don't think he has. I'm, I'm, I'm certainly of the same opinion of yourself. Um, I, think that, I don't think there's anybody sitting here, including myself, that is ever going to intelligently or intellectually be able to compete with what you're discussing and what we're talking about. Mike is refusing to be intimidated by Duncan Bannatyne, and this has caused a rift between the dragons. Mike's looking for £100,000. Will any of them be prepared to side with him enough to invest? Correct me if I'm wrong, but what this really comes down to is a bet. It all depends on one buyer's or three buyer's decisions yeah. at the end of the day, correct? Yes, but... £100,000 reduces the risk of Nike not saying yes. I actually think you make your case very well. I think that there's a lot to be said for what you're describing. You've answered the questions quite reasonably. But you and I differ on what kind of risk is represented by this kind of opportunity. I'm out. Thank you. Despite his impressive pitch, the two dragons who are yet to invest in this series are out. Rachel Elnor and Theo Pafitis have also come to a decision. Mike, can I just make my position clear? I just have a, a rule in business which I don't invest in anything which, I don't, which doesn't turn me on or which I don't understand. And, and on both counts, this one isn't one for me. So just so you know where I am, I'm out. You have pitched excellently. Well done. And uh, I actually believe you and believe that you believe in the product. Um, I, don't, I can't assess the odds. That is the issue here. And for that purpose, I will not be investing. One dragon is left. Peter Jones was initially impressed by the potential millions that Mike's recipe vest could make. Will it be enough to persuade him to take on the risk and invest? I put £100,000 into your business. Right. I get, I mean, it won't be 20% by the time I finish with you. Yeah. But let's say I got more. Um, what happens now if you've got another product, when you go back to Loughborough tonight, your couple of your other guys yeah. say, actually, look, we've got this real hot one. Yeah. You've got £100,000 of my money now invested mm -hmm. in a so-called product that we're going to go and talk to Nike. What happens if actually it doesn't go anywhere? We really do struggle with it. We're, mm -hmm. Are you not off onto your next opportunity? It's very, you'll appreciate you're asking me a question that I can only answer. I can't validate that. It's very difficult for someone to, to say, um, I, I won't go off and do something else. But, you know, you've got to appreciate that we've... we've I, don't, actually, I don't think it is. 
I think it would be very easy for you to validate the fact that actually you could say to me, which I wanted the response to be, Peter, do you know what? If you were to put £100,000 into this product, I will do nothing else until this works. At least I'll spend the next 12 months of my life working flat out for you because you're backing yeah. me. But That's what I want you to say and you haven't. I haven't, but I can tell you why I haven't. This product does not require me working 100%. You might like that but it's not what it actually requires. It requires a discrete team with very specific skills to focus on their task to get this product into the marketplace. With only one dragon left, Mike is playing a dangerous game. He needs £100,000, but won't commit 100% of his time to his recipe vest. His attitude has pushed Peter Jones away. Just to be clear, unfortunately, I'm not going to be investing today, but thank you anyway. I think that's everybody who's... That's everybody out, Mike. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, thanks very much. Dr Mike Kane has lost out. Despite Peter Jones being interested, Mike couldn't give him the level of commitment he wanted for a £100,000 investment. You choose to centre on and ask your questions around the one thing that I think he actually does have authority on and all the other things that is completely uncertain from a business investment point of view. And so I'm just curious, why is it that you choose to focus it there? There's a lot of shit. If, wasn't, if it was any good, Reebok would have taken it up, Nike would have taken it up, it has sold the bloody thing. It doesn't work. We don't, because he knows about it doesn't mean he's right in what he says. <laughs> Tell everybody else the secret of how you don't let them intimidate you because you just held it totally, didn't you? No, I, I, I'm not prepared to take criticism that's absolutely wrong <laughs> from somebody who doesn't know what well, they're talking about. I thought in a way it actually it sort of helped you a bit that, that that was the terrain he started on because you were just in so much more authority and you were yeah, able to use it, lines like, well, actually I have a PhD in this blah, 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 and it was I, I hope down. it didn't come across as being arrogant. I, no, I, I no, felt it was, it was an aggressive... Yeah. Um, stance by one of the uh, the panel, um, and I felt it did win favour with the other the other panelists, who, or the other dragons. You know, they were basically all all agreeing with me. So I think I got that bit right. Um, it was unfortunate that I didn't take that momentum and, and secure the funding, but you know that's that's life. Yeah.